Welcome to Pronate. This is the first in a series of three short videos that introduce the badminton backhand. Pronate aims to help you hit the shuttle faster with greater ease, control and precision through education and practice. This first video explains backhand grips in detail. The second video concentrates on the backhand stroke. The third video combines grip and stroke in basic backhand training. Most of what can be said of the forehand is also true of the backhand, with some notable exceptions. This video is divided into standard backhand grip, grip rotation, other modifications and technical advice. All backhand grips are based on the standard backhand grip. Here's how it's made. Lay your fingers on the strings of the racket. Guide your fingers down the racket to the base of the handle. Slide the handle across your fingers until it rests against the palm. Curl your four fingers around the handle. Now place your thumb on the bevel of the racket handle. That's the standard backhand grip. The angle between the racket and the forearm should be roughly 90 degrees. Look at the angle between the forearm and the back of the hand in this frame. This is called wrist extension and it should be kept constant in most strokes. Another feature of the standard backhand grip is that the racket face is parallel to the forearm during the stroke. Notice that to swap between the standard backhand grip and the standard forehand grip, you only need to adjust the positions of the index finger and the thumb. Like the forehand, the most common modification from the standard backhand grip is grip rotation. The grip may be rotated so that the racket faces the intended direction of the shuttle at the moment of impact, or it may be rotated so that the shuttle travels at an angle to the racket face at the moment of impact. This is referred to as cutting the shuttle. In this video, shot from below, hitting the shuttle to the left requires a standard backhand grip. If the shuttle is to be struck at an upward angle without cut, the grip is rotated clockwise to turn the racket face at it upwards. If the shuttle is to be at downwards, the grip is rotated anti-clockwise so the racket face is downwards at the moment of impact. Perhaps you can imagine that grip rotations are also used if the shuttle is to be at straight when the arm is behind the body or when the shuttle is in front of the body. The second reason to rotate the grip to cut the shuttle alters the expected flight of the shuttle. Novice players generally play without cut and so are mainly interested that the racket faces the intended direction of the shuttle. The other modifications from the standard backhand grip are similar to the forehand ones. The most common is length or the position of the grip along the handle. Changing the length of the grip changes the responsiveness and power characteristics of the racket. A longer grip makes for less responsiveness and more power. An extra long grip can be useful to reach a distant shuttle. Shortening the grip makes for more responsiveness and less power. This is commonly used as part of the short backhand serve. An advanced modification used for net play is where the racket is held in the fingertips. This allows the player to change the spin of the shuttle without using much force. With these simple modifications it is possible to play almost any backhand shot. An important thing to note about backhand grip is muscle tension. Hold the racket only as tightly as needed to prevent the racket from slipping out of your hand until just before the moment of impact, when the grip should be tightened. Many players grip their rackets too tightly when it is inappropriate. Muscles can perform much more quickly and efficiently when they are relaxed. This can significantly increase the speed of the shuttle while decreasing the amount of effort spent. Prolonged tension in the hand and forearm may also lead to injuries like tennis elbow. To summarise, we have introduced the standard backhand grip, backhand grip modifications and some technical advice on gripping the racket. The next video will look at backhand strokes and the final video will offer some suggestions for basic backhand training.